How's it going, buddy? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. If you didn't know, this is my brand. So there's the Orion Knives and then the name of this knife. Thank you to everybody that was putting in ideas, uh, throwing out suggestions. This one, um, Charles um, went and actually suggested it, uh, but uh, we're going with the name Solaris. S-O-L-A-R-I-S, -S, meaning of it, of the sun. Uh, so kind of the reason for that uh, is um, kind of going along with basically the Orion's belt. They're made up of basically really far away stars. Uh, and then also it kind of every other uh, knife will kind of orbit around this one. So there's going to be kind of that keystone. Uh, so we're going to go and look at it now, open it up, see what's inside of it. Uh, so um, you guys know kind of what you would be picking up if you decide to get it. OrionKnives.com uh, is the site for that. Sign up for the mailing list. Uh, so you can be up to date on uh, where the Kickstarter will be going. Uh, so we're planning on getting that going, uh, getting all the information together, still getting the logistics down. Uh, I just ordered the boxes, um, basically four of the um, uh, basically samples. Uh, so I want to see what it'll look like. Uh, so I don't have that already set up. Uh, so that's something that I just finalized as of today. Uh, so it looks pretty good. Uh, so hopefully it matches up with what I like. Uh, so that's going to be uh, that whole process. So still got a ways to go, but hopefully you guys are along for the ride. If you guys have questions, concerns, uh, things that you'd like to know about it, things you'd like to know about the process, let me know as well. I can make videos on that because it has been a process. If you didn't know, I've been at this since uh, June 2019, and that's where all this started uh, with a drawing, a sketch on a uh, US postal box, and then uh, kind of continued from there. So as we have now a functional working knife and also I'm trying to figure out also the uh, color combinations to offer because really I'm probably going to go with uh, following out along with uh, Ford and when they originally brought out uh, their Model T uh, that's going to be you can have any scale color you want as long as it's black. Yeah. That's how that will probably go, at least for the first round. And then uh, for the pivot colors, so I was thinking about offering three different colors. I might just be able to offer two colors. So red's going to be there, so red and black. And so maybe a blue and black, and or maybe a green and black, or um, different handle colors. I don't know if I would have different handle colors, so I could probably offer uh, three different colors here, or go with uh, basically like a blue and a, a red, uh, accent and have a black or natural J. So all the folks that like to dye stuff will have their own thing to do. But we'll open this up. Uh, so it is going to be a uh, right hand and left hand tip up pocket clip. So you can actually switch that around. Uh, so some of the things for it. So you might have to disassemble the whole knife uh, because uh, the uh, barrel spacer does go all the way through. So it does have a little bit of uh, Loctite on it. Uh, that you might have to um, basically um, maybe add a little bit of heat to get it not to loosen up uh, so you'd actually switch that around so for that 10% of folks uh, my two of my sons are left-handed so they'll probably be in that category as well uh, but you just take it off uh, so basically T6 on the back side of it take out the pocket clip Oop. pocket clip other screw And then you're going to have the pivot of a T8. Switch that out. And then so there's one thing too. So some knives that you've seen uh, have a, a screw on both sides even though some of them are not free spinning pivots. This is not a free spinning pivot, it's a D-shaped pivot. Uh, so on this side, uh, as you see, there is no bit. So you're not going to accidentally uh, put one into the other side. Uh, so that's where this is. So you actually have that bit. So you're going to be a T8 right there. Pop that out. So basically, that's the knife. It's taken apart. So as you see, that just fell out. Uh, so these are going to be the parts that are going to be interchangeable. Uh, so these are the ones that you're going to have. So basically, there's the inner liner that goes here. So that drops into that outer scale 
and then you do have uh, the knife as well as the bearings. So I did go with multi-row bearings, uh, so that's something that not everybody's using and I'm pretty glad that I did go with it. It does seem to add some uh, basically um, side to side uh, tolerance as far as the ability to maintain. Uh, so but that's going to be the bearings that are in this knife and this will be the bearings that will be in the production version as well. So as long as we make it there, uh, which it seems positive uh, from what I'm hearing uh, from some of the feedback, some of the people that are signed up to the mailing list. So I do, um, I would appreciate if you guys sign up so I know some of the, the demand for the product as well. Uh, but that's going to be the bearings for that and then this is going to be the backspacer. So the backspacer is very light. I mean, this is G10, uh, so this weighs like maybe half a penny as far as the weight for that. So that drops in there. So bear spacers. Uh, so this is where you're gonna have all the information for it. And did find also the spring is probably gonna be, I'll have to take apart the other ones when they come back, uh, but the spring itself uh, has basically two different sides to it. Uh, so you'll see on this side, uh, has more of a flat surface in the side uh, basically was basically the cut side so this side you're going to want to have um, against the, um, the actual button and this side against the G10 side uh, so basically this little pocket uh, right there so this is going to be oh that's not the pocket this pocket so that pocket so that pocket was where this the spring lays and that's the one you're going to want to have the flat side for it when it goes in there with that little button. So this is gonna be what you're gonna be doing with um, if you're gonna be taking apart the knife and then also if you're gonna be changing out these colors. So eventually I'm gonna be uh, probably selling these uh, separately. So if you want to change out uh, different colorations uh, for the pivot color and also for the backspacer. And then I guess also let me know, do you guys, would you rather have it be G10 and G10 or would you rather have aluminum and G10. So that's another option that I could go with uh, for these as well. Uh, so that's going to be all the parts for it, everything that's laid out. Um, and that is how that works. So we're going to be getting, whoop, dropping all this stuff all over the place. But that's how everything works for it. Uh, so when you're putting it back together, that's where you're going to be uh, utilizing uh, just different parts of it. So you can actually drop in the button, button goes in as a spring spring again so the little side that's cut goes into the button like so and knife handle so make sure that you have your stop pin in there still because sometimes that might fall out um, also for the backspacer there's another little um, pin so put that back too put your backspacer back on so you could run it without backspacers, uh, a backspacer, but it doesn't save you much weight. And I think aesthetically it adds to the knife to have that on there. Uh, so that's gonna be how that goes. Drop the scale back on, whoop. And this is one thing you can drop on by yourself or without putting the knife all the way back together. So you can actually drop this in there. So this will line up with that back screw. So you can have that all set up for you. Clips back together, button's working. Put that back in there. Put the pivot back in. And anytime you're gonna be putting the pivots or any screws back in, go counterclockwise first. Um, this is probably what you guys do anyway. But when you go counterclockwise, uh, you'll have a little drop in when you do it that way. That makes sure that the threads don't get um, cross threaded because you do not wanna do that. Uh, for any of the screws that you're dealing with. I will order some other screws just in case, but um, that'll probably be a separate thing to pick up. Trim this out. Uh, so this is gonna be another thing that I was thinking about doing for the T8s, but uh, right now it's gonna be a T6 and T8, which is pretty standard for most of the knives out there uh, that are offered by different companies. And then as you see, even on the pocket clip, so it does have this little ball uh, so this is probably going to stay for the production side, uh, but that goes in and out of the pocket. Now it seems like pretty easily some really thick pants you might have a little bit of hold up for it, but also um, with this being a metal clip, 
Uh, if you want to take some of the tension off, you could bend it a little bit uh, to do that. Uh, just not overextending it to break it, uh, but that would be an option for you. You can kind of get it set up how you want it. So that drops right back into the slot there. So just cinch these down. Make sure they're good and tight, not over tight. Uh, so they are small screws, so you don't want to try and rip them off. Um, but you do want to make sure it's tight. Then pivot side is where you can actually just make sure that it's centered. Uh, so as you're going through the blade, uh, you can actually just make sure um, that it gets centered up. Then you kind of play around with it to see if it's actually too tight or too loose. So that's a little too loose still. Okay, so that doesn't have any play on it now, and then it still drops shut. So that's going to be one thing nice about it. It is a fidget type of knife. Uh, it's still usable. Uh, a lot of the different uh, design elements of it. Uh, so when I was designing it, I wanted to have the tip of the blade uh, actually match up with the pivot uh, to actually have it um, lined up for any type of um, box penetrations or anything like that. Uh, that's what I wanted with that. Um, if you didn't know also for this swoop here is kind of design element uh, for this area here. Uh, thumb studs as well. I designed it in a way that uh, you don't actually make contact with the um, any of the handle scales. So as you're rolling it out, uh, you're not going to be hitting this portion, which you do on some of the knives that are out there with thumb studs. Uh, so you can actually utilize it pretty well in multiple deployment methods. And seems to work out pretty well. Positive reviews so far. So if you want to check those out, uh, check out the website. And then there is a reviews page. And you can kind of watch through some of the other folks that are looking at the knives. And totally honest reviews. Uh, so if, if they think it's horrible, I now welcome that. You got to just let me know what's horrible about it so I can work on fixing it. Uh, but I think we're just about there. So I might have some little bitty tweaks here and there, uh, but that's going to be uh, how that works. And then just to get some comparison for it. Uh, so as, since we're here, uh, so you may have seen before, but I mean, there's going to be a rat number two and a bug out. And that's how it is on the inside of the knife. Um, so that's where you can uh, figure out how, if, what you want to pick up. Um, if it looks like it's a good quality tool for you, 14C28N for the blade steel removable uh, thumb studs. So if you don't want the thumb stud, you can take it off. If you're going to sharpen and you want that out of the way, you can take that off as well. And then uh, that's going to be the setup for it. And probably um, once we get in production, then there might be some aftermarket scales available too. Uh, so. Uh, sky's the limit, uh, but onward and upward type of thing, and we'll see what happens with everything. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be Kickstarter. Uh, check out OrionKnives.com, sign up for the mailing list, and let me know in the comments what you think. But that's about all I have to say about that one today.